Hey guys, Logan, we're up to Season 5, Episode 15 of Grey's Anatomy. Here we go. Every patient's story starts the same way. It starts with them being fine. It starts in the before. Addison! They cling to this moment, this memory of being fine. We've got an ICU bed already. But what they don't realize is that the fact that they're talking about it to us. What the hell are you doing? The interns are broken. They've been punished for taking out their own appendixes and it's making them hate medicine. Is this some kind of dead boyfriend art therapy? This is not about Denny. It's about the interns. Gosh, about the interns? They're a bunch of losers. They're not. Does he know how he got the parasite? What's wrong with her? He got it from eating unwashed fruit in Mexico. He's bradycardic. He's having reactions of fentanyl drip. Stop the fentanyl drip and push the narcan. Wait, uh, Derek, he was in status. I mean, if you take him off the drip and he seizes up, there could be permanent brain damage. You better hope that doesn't happen. Hope? <laughs> that, that's what your plan is? Is hinging on hoping that, that the worst doesn't happen? I'm hoping. And while every patient's story starts the same way, how the story ends depends on us. On how well we diagnose and treat. Yikes. We know the story hinges on us. Okay, he's gonna be good. Get the crash car. And we all want to be the hero. <gasps> Jesus. Okay, take an envelope and then pass the rest back. But do not open them. You're gonna need them for the first game we're gonna play. That's what we're doing today? Playing games? Cheer up. We are gonna have so much fun. I said don't open the envelope. Don't you know how to play a simple game? I did when it was eight. Let's just go. Dr. Bates with Addison today, so I'm gonna hand out your morning assignments. Addison's in the hospital? Her brother was admitted last night with parasites in his brain. Yikes. Is his brother's neurosis to psychosis? I cleared my schedule. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm, I'm fine. Your brother has parasites in his brain. I cleared my schedule. You cut your hair. Oh, yeah. That's just... I like it. Is God. Dr. Miranda Bates. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Miranda, Naomi, Naomi, Miranda. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> she honestly does not look like the same person. He's groggy. His eyes are open, but I don't think he's awake because he hasn't tried to kill me. Her brother hates me. Uh, people pick sides in a divorce, Derek. He picks sides in the marriage. Look at us. We're standing here making polite conversation about your girlfriend. You two are divorced. I mean, Sam are divorced, and I'm with Archer, sort of. <coughs> what the hell happened? You wrote her her own love song and you sang it to her at the wedding. Mark wrote it or sang or somebody. Are we forgetting that she I slept did. with his I best friend? I was drunk at the time that I remember. I remember thinking you guys were going to last forever. And we were all going to last forever. Yeah. Well, I mean, things change when you sleep with you call Sam. someone else. He misses you. Where's Dr. Gray? She's supposed to be in my surgery. Uh, she and Dr. Shepard got called in on an emergency. So it looks like he's not going to get to your aneurysm until later. I don't husband. Oh, I, I look like this because I ran him over with our car before I knew I had this huge time bomb in my head when I was just a big old pregnant person waiting for her baby. So I am telling you, it is probably just my hernia. Uh, he has an inguinal hernia. Lost. Be the source of the obstruction. I have colorectal cancer. I've had five polyps removed in the last three years and radiation. My daughter doesn't know, and I would like to keep it that way. Where have you been treated? We'll need to get your medical records. Columbia Hospital in Verona and Dr. Schulte. Uh, yeah. I work here now. I saw that you were in, I thought I... I waited until she left to come in and say hello. If you were going to tell her about the cancer, Michael, she deserves to know. You lost the right to tell me anything about her when you broke off your engagement in a two-line email. Oh. Our eyes met over the cadaver. Is that what made our cadaver so <laughs> sick? Greatest love song of all time. Oh, you guys get to the part where Derek rhymes gross anatomy class with Addison's fine ass, because I wrote that line. <laughs> and Archie heard you were going to let Derek remove those little suckers from your brain. And maybe. A neurologist, you probably see a lot of patients post op or just you know scrambled eggs. Okay, you know, Mark, you're not helping right now. We're sitting here trying to convince him that surgery is is not an option. According to these scans, the single cyst that you had in your last CT has now multiplied by eight. What? The third ventricle. You're in a room full of doctors, Addison. 
We're all being very quiet right now. That's crazy. I'm gonna die. That's what it means. Damn. Inside each one of your envelopes is the name of a surgery. Your task is to drape your patients accordingly. On your marks, get set, go! Come on, people, lighten up. This is supposed to be fun. Don't take it so seriously. Suck at this. My grandmother could drape better than you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do better than that. No, no, I'm just, you're doing great. I'm, I'm trash talking. I'm having fun. It's just, I mean, it's fun. Pancreatic cancer, where you're planning on going in through the mouth. Start over. That sucks. That really sucks. After the divorce, I made you petty and inconsequential and nothing special so that you could fit into this tiny little box. Now I have to take you out of the box because I need to believe that uh, you can do this, that you can save my brother. Uh, Montgomery, Archer, I'm a friend. Um, Dr. Miranda Bailey, I'm a friend of Addison's. Oh. Archer is Addison's brother, and Archer's girlfriend is Addison's best friend. He used to be married to Derek's best friend. Derek hasn't spoken to since right, right. the divorce. Well, that would be me, the ex-husband. Uh, Dr. Samuel Bennett. Well, I didn't think the... Ex-husband would show up at the ex-wife's boyfriend's bedside. Right, don't worry about it. Uh, but, uh... Third floor, yeah. room 3420. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Bennett. Uh, Sam. Dr. Shepard is still studying the scans, looking for a way to operate, but it looks like a difficult case. I mean, you'd think Derek would have said something at some point, or sang something while he played his guitar. Speaking of... Oh, Derek used to play the guitar. Oh, oh and his ex fiance is in the hospital. Mm -hmm. His ex fiance he never told me about. What's wrong with her? Well, she calls her dad, Daddy. No, what's wrong with her? Why is she in the hospital? Oh, she isn't. Daddy is. Hey, you know, you should ask him when he plays the guitar. Find Dr. Sloan, he's your patient. Ask him his symptoms, diagnose him correctly to receive your next challenge. What are your symptoms? Uh, right now, I'm. Battling a rapid heart rate, also feeling a little flushed. I don't even want to mention what's going on below the belt. Hey, no, I, I, I don't do dirty secret flirting with you anymore, okay? I, I told you, if you want to go public with me, with us, then I will do dirty public flirting. I mean, I will, I will flirt publicly, not dirtily. Maybe a little. <laughs> Wait, would you do please tell me your symptoms so I can concentrate? Foul. What? You need her answer. Well, the whole hospital heard her. Well, you should have uh, kept respectful distance. New symptoms. Resume play. Woo! All right, you have some questions, so I ask. When was this last polypeptomy? Since you're familiar with the patient. That's not what I meant. I know what you meant. Dr. Yeah, yeah. what are your symptoms? Now's not a good time. Heavy feeling in the abdomen, accompanied by nausea and acute pulling sensation in the scrotum. Oh, uh, testicular cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get Mr. Whitman to the CT? I wasn't doing anyone any good at school, so. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, shit. I thought you were in Iraq. I I've been praying for you. Every night. Every night I'm on my knees praying that you're going to make it back. That you'll make it another 24 hours. That you you'll make it This damn show is so dramatic. Oh, you're back. <laughs> How's she doing? She must be hiding. I can hear you. And I'm not hiding. I'm trying to pray. But I don't know how to pray because we're lost. We only go to church on Christmas. You guys go and get this. I have no clout. With God. <laughs> God doesn't even know who I am. 
sucks because I could. I kissed a paid surgeon. You kissed a paid surgeon? I never thought I'd end up with a woman. God, but I mean, not until lately. But that, that, that's not the problem. The problem is the Pete's thing. She's she's perky and has butterflies on her scrub cap. Do you really believe in all this? In God? Sometimes. Well, most of the time. When it counts. Your wife's in the chapel praying. She's not my wife, and she doesn't pray. Why is everyone just forgetting oh, everything? Uh, Your wife's uh, in the you know, chapel I'm praying. How I'm dare you divorce her? You should have called. No, I should sit and touch this my phone. People move, they change, and they all did. So, but yeah, she's praying. She's expecting a miracle. I've seen patients with one cyst in the ventricle, maybe two. He has eight. There's no way I can get a scope in there without rupturing one. Just too many. I need a miracle in sports right now. What are the words you want? Explain to me how you would remove just that one. I can't find it. Wait, is something wrong? Is the baby's heart not beating? What? You're on the kid's ass. The heart's over here. <sighs> she doesn't seem very good at her job. It's not what you think. All right, Archer. I need to create room in the ventricle so I can maneuver the scope. If I deflate each cyst, the scope can remove them one by the one. This will rupture. I'm gonna grab each one with forceps, pull it up to the edge of the port, and suction off the fluid. The suction will have to be precise. It will be. Look, I know you guys want me to go down and fight, but I... Coward. Excuse me. I said coward. You're a coward by trade. You're a neurologist. You guys feed off us. Refer your patients to us. Let us assume the responsibility. And if God forbid something happens, well, I'll tell you what, I can assume the responsibility. The question is, can you? <laughs> to me. Why not? Because you don't smile. These people smile. do smile. Well, I'm not going to smile right now, but I do smile. I <laughs> smile frequently. <laughs> you be good? Yeah. A Pete Surgery Fellowship. A child, I'm familiar with children. I'm going to be an excellent pediatric surgeon. Yes, ma'am. Looks like I'm low. Chris, refill this for Dr. Bennett here. Okay. Thanks. It's good practice. Asthma's big with the kids. What's your funny name, Mitch? Talking about himself. <laughs> Actually, I've been using endoscopy for head and neck cancer resection. If I could just focus the criteria for patients, I might have a breakthrough on my hands. What happened to you? He met someone. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's bland. It's really bland. <sighs> I need my surgery now. We'll settle down. Blood pressure's gonna rise, and you're gonna start contracting. Sorry, because I don't know you, but you really need to shut up, okay? 
if you need the whole arm to for the next couple of hours, okay? Just calm down. Relax. Relax. Well, when he needs to go through chemo or gets so sick he needs hospice care, she'll find out when it's already over. She deserves more than that. Gotta be kidding me. He's you getting ready for it. Get the crash cart and start compression? No, no, stop! Nobody move! We can't start compressions, I need to find one. But he's... We have two minutes, maybe three, okay? Nobody move, just stop. How long has he been down? Two minutes, 20 seconds. Impressive. I understand you're still being punished for that and that you think they're not even qualified to pull the clamps, so. You have any prizes like that? Thank you. They just got their symptoms for their final patients. Get out the finish line, it's gonna be close. Scrub in on Shepard's cranial. Yeah. Oh, that's a Tuesday sucker. Tuesday sucker? That's just a really bad sucker. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew Lexi was gonna win. It was a hard surgery. You don't even look like yourself. Excuse me? You don't. You look. Just come back and, and be normal right away. But I'm gonna sleep for a couple of hours before you can see now. Two lines in an email. I deserve more than that. That's bad. Beth, your dad has colorectal cancer. He's already been through radiation treatment and polyp removals. He didn't tell you. Well, I don't know Owen. We don't. We don't know them. At this point in your training, you should be able to hear symptoms, diagnose the problem, and decide whether or not a patient needs surgery. Can you do that? Can you? Because they think you can. Sadie, you could hurt someone. Something bad's gonna happen. I can already just feel it. I keep the conversation short because I can't bear for her to know that the son she sent off to war is gone. He's gone. Yeah, if I just got in my car and drove the six miles to see her, she'd be so sad. And she would look at me the same way that Beth does now. Like I'm not there. Sorry, I have you scheduled for first thing tomorrow morning. Derek, uh, I'm using your first name now <laughs> because I like you a lot and I'm. She's good. Try being married to her, you'll never say no again. <laughs> I like her. She panics right. a lot, so that would just drive me nuts, but that's about it. it. Congratulations are in order. Thank you, Dr. Sloan. I don't do panicking. Well, I mean, because I don't panic. I just, I'm pretty calm. And respectfully. And chaotic situations. 
the appropriate body language. Acknowledged, Dr. Sun. Do you know uh, Addison Montgomery? Uh, L Lexi Gray. Mark, Addy, Little Gray. <laughs> little Gray. Hmm. Can you believe Little Gray and, uh, hey, and Derek was going to propose to Meredith? How about that? I'm off to surgery. I don't know if she's shocked because of the proposal or if she's shocked because he doesn't know. Is what's going on with you? Something's wrong with him. Girl. I'm fine. You saw the interns are not a bunch of losers. She has a brain they know things. They're gonna make good doctors. What happened? I quit. Normally's a little knock. I'd rather be deemed a quitter than a cheater. Did you cheat your way into the program? I said I'm not book smart. You know that. I learned on my feet. Think about how do we get on a plane tonight? We could go. No, no. I can't. I have to work. I can't just. Yikes! How can I? I suck the life right out of you. The Meredith I used to know is right here. Girl. I'm People here. grow up, you realize so that, right? We threw Europe anymore. Priorities. Sucker at the ready? Sucker's at the ready. <laughs> You're mocking me. Only a little. Damn it. Damn it. No! DP's AA over 60. I do use a lot. Okay, I'm joking aside, Dr. Gray. Medical sutures, please. DP's 110 over 70. Shit. Did you get the sugar out of there? Is that it? Did you, did you get it? There's good flow. Shit, shit, shit. Yes, we did. Ah. Damn, that will teach me to never mock an eager young intern again. <laughs> oh, nice. You're such an ass. I shouldn't have worried. People get divorced. They meet new people, they remarry. I don't know, you know, it was just seeing Archer in that OR, it just changed my perspective. Or something. How was how your opinion? It's fine. Yeah? Yeah, I stopped in on Archer on my way out. Things are uh, good. Okay. <sighs> and if my true bell got into the pit, that was so sick. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get all the, the second no. verse. Yes. Not yes. Your name starts yes. The, the course. Yes. Your name. Addison Montgomery. He met her in the summary. <laughs> I love the summary. I know you summaries it now. I met her. Really? Yeah. Come on. She, <laughs> she was cutting up a very, very dead body. body. This is why I don't stay in touch. To me. me. Every day until eternity. I, I don't know why they think it's a good idea. Be as dead as that <laughs> Honestly, it's like poor self awareness skills. It's like they're not married anymore. This is just unnecessary. <laughs> That's lovely. Uh, sometimes I forget about this top ten, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, Bailey, Shepard, Christina, Meredith, Lexi, Alex, Hunt, Sloan, Izzy, Callie. That is our top ten as of right now. Updated. Um, <clears throat> on to more things. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. See y'all next time.